Yep, that's the one. Okay, Sarah, what's going on here? I'm trying to get my insulation <laughs> Sarah bought a four foot by eight foot piece of insulation and it doesn't really fit in her little Hyundai Veloster. We're, we're doing the ceiling today. So Sarah bought some Naughty Pine uh, slats, tongue and groove, and then insulation for the roof. So here we go. Should we find a friend that has a truck in something? Oh, this guy. My main concern is how's my hawk gonna fit in here? <laughs> how am I gonna get in, Sarah? Just like put your head in first and sneak in around. Sneak in, hey? Yeah, that's, in. that's your best head idea. Head in first, head in first. It's just a sneak in. Fly back. Did you ever go to a driving school or anything? Or? No, no I didn't. Okay, you're gonna need to hold it up so I can see out the rear view. Alrighty, on the road again. On the road again. Maybe we should ask this guy if he could drive us home instead. Okay, well we made it. No unsafe load tickets. Uh, Successful. How do you feel? Little little bend here, but that's little okay. Little bend, a little bit of scratches, but nothing I won't complain. About. And it's going on this puppy. Okay, so step one is siliconing the holes. Because if you watch the last video, we put a, a roof deck on here, a little dance floor roof deck. It's really cool. If you didn't see that video, go check it out. But we have like 48 <laughs> screw holes through the roof, and they need to be siliconed so we don't get rain in dripping on our bed when we're sleeping here. So step one, silicone the holes. Step two, put our insulation up here. That was the big four by eight flap that Sarah got. And we're gonna put like one chunk here, one chunk there, one chunk up there in between the cross members. And step three is throw our boards up there. So we just made sure that uh, they fit how we like them and then they're gonna go all the way across. It's gonna look really good. Let's do this. Okay, silicone's all done. Okay, next step is insulation. <laughs> okay, so we got the green side going up, reflective side facing down to keep the heat in, and hopefully I measured right. And then I have those screws poking down, so I'm just gonna press it on there basically. Try not to get a screw in that finger. Okay, well I got my two pieces cut here for the insulation of the roof. Well, let's check in on what Sarah Lubis is doing over here. Oh. What are you doing, Sarah Lubis? Oh, just staining the boards. Are you? Yeah. How do they look? They look good. This one is nice and dark now. And show me your drying rack over here. Oh, it's my car. Show it to me. Okay. Hi, I'm Sarah. And this is my drying rack. I don't know how they're sticking on there, but good for you. Okay, so we're gonna secure this one up now, but this one had the screws to hold it on. This one doesn't have any screws, so we got some no more nails. Just a type of adhesive that we're gonna stick some chunks on here. Watch your hair. <laughs> it's taller than usual. Huh. Are you on drugs? Yeah, a little. Oh, buddy. Coming in with the Supreme Cut. We got our little van cat. Ideally, this guy will come with us on a trip or two. How do you like it, Merle? Where are you going? There you are. There you are. You're just purring, you like it. Okay, we got the rear insulation here. So we'll just stick it up. Oh, I might have to cut out a part I forgot. If you wanna hop on the bed here and then just assist me, yeah. you might have to push it toward the back, fit it up over top if it does. Just kinda squeeze it in. 
if it'll go and I'll pinch it. Is it going? Yeah. I'm early. <laughs> okay, don't touch. All the insulation is in. Next step is to screw the boards in. Here we go. Voila, El Rufo, or El Ceiling, oh. It looks really, really good. I love it. So we just got the three cross members and we got screws across on all the cross members. So our final piece is having trouble. It kind of pinches at the end there and we got, it'll fit up here, the, the slat. So Sarah marked it off here and we're just gonna cut off this edge and then we're gonna fit it in there. Hard hat for safety. Okay, so we had to taper it, take it out and taper it again, cut it a little more. But now we're sliding it in and it's so satisfying because it's just, whoa, snuggling up like a cute little panda bear and it's gonna just fit so nicely. I present to you the ceiling. Down, down, down. Oh, we just had a big high five and hug it's session because awesome. man, this thing looks so good. Beautiful. Woo, 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 woo. Okay, now how much did this cost? Uh, more than the roof rack did. So the, there were three packs of these and they were six each. Three packs, they were 28 bucks a pop. So we'll say 90 bucks for oh, I have those. I my pocket actually. Okay, let's check out the receipt. Naughty Pine, 84.69. And then we got one of those. With tax, so like 90 bucks. Well, and then. This is just the whole purchase. Uh, 1433 for the Durafoam, aka the insulation, totaling 103.97. Okay, so $104 to have an insulated ceiling. I'd say it's pretty good. There you go. I love it, I love it, I love it! Yeah. Okay, well I'm hungry. We got a new ceiling. We're gonna go eat. <laughs> I think that's all. We'll see you guys next time. <laughs>